Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> come and never sleep on me I saw my chain, so you know I go get her What you looking at, fool, no I noon Hoodie, mong tong, it go Find your comfort from another, yeah I got low like undercover, yeah Wanna know my name, Duke Di Anna Need a wee, a boo, a bottle, get him Yes, you can even guess me Cause I'm Hello everybody, welcome to One Drinking Podcast We talk about one topic for one drink I'm Matthew And I'm Oliver And this week Are you a good wingman? I think I'm a good wingman I try to be. Yeah. Um, so that is what we are going to be talking about. Um, being a wingman. All right. We've all done it. Oh yeah. I mean, everybody's been in that position before. Uh, yeah. 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 Agreed. Mm -hmm. And you know, even even though it's just us men on the show, I think women do. Oh that yeah. Well, hundred percent. And there's there's wingman and wing women. Wing woman. Maybe maybe we'll have um, a a woman guest on and she can answer these questions yeah. just so we can get a female I'll tell you what though man having a female wingman that's the best wingman ever it's it, it yes <laughs> you I'd rather have a friend with me that's a girl <laughs> to be my wingman yeah than a guy every day of the week and it is way easier yeah for what you're trying to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? 100%. <laughs> and especially because, yeah, it's just way easier. With, just... with us guys, we kind of... Uh, Girls make better women. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad. But I try as well. That is the end of the story, right? Yeah. <laughs> especially if you got, like, a pretty decent-looking friend, you know. Yep. And vice versa, you know, you go up to a guy for her. Oh, yeah. She loves the you know, we just go up to the G. Hey, dude. We don't even have to say anything. Right. It's like, bro. Point. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. And then you're off. It's that easy. You leave. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> All right. So, you ready for this? I'm ready. Little situation. A cute girl winks at your friend. What do you do? Yeah. Do you tell him to make a move? Give him a pep talk? <laughs> tell him that the girl is interested? Nothing. He should be paying attention. <laughs> So, initially, <laughs> for me, it's nothing. You yeah, should right. have been attention. <laughs> for real. But <clears throat> I just tell them, make a move. Make a move? And just go talk to her. Gotta do it. I tell people that all the time. I'm like, hey, if you don't ask, you don't know. Mm -hmm. so What's the worst she's going to say? No. Right. How and, many, then, and then you go back and sit down. Yeah. And then you're in the same position you were five minutes ago. And how many times have you heard that? No. All right. If okay. she says yes, you're like, oh, shit. It's going down. Oh, my yeah. God. And people think that they gotta do like all these weird, like say all these like <clears throat> clever things. It's just go say hi. Duh. Hi, I'm, I'm Matt. Simple. No. Yeah. Now, is the wink still a thing? I think it is. Now, I I have never <laughs> I've never winked at. There are certain situations. I mean, like so. Or all right, like if I just see a girl and she's cute. Yeah. I'm not just gonna be like. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not just going to do that. You know what I mean? I'd feel so weird doing it. Yeah. But, like, like uh, so I wink sometimes, depending on, like, so if Jack and I are, I don't know, if she's across the room talking to somebody, you know what I mean, and I'm talking to a little group or whatever, yeah. you know what I mean, and I see her, you know what I mean, and, you know, you get that little, you know, yeah. you make that eye contact, you're just basically, like, saying hi, like, I'll just, you know, I'll okay. wink real quick or something, yeah. you know, something like that. Um, but and I've know, never situations had, like that. But that's not going to be my first move. Right? It's not a wink. You know what I mean? It's just not because you're, you're dead it after that. It's and then if that is your friend's move, then you have to have a pep talk with them, right? <laughs> About not winking <laughs> yes. and be like, dude, uh, not having. Yeah. But I've never had like a a woman wink at me. No, I like walk by and just be like. Ting. Yeah, like in the movies and shit. Yeah. No, I don't think I've ever had that happen to me either. Oh, man. Well, oh. all right. Next one. An ugly friend mm. is trying to block your friend from mm. making a move. What do you do? <whistles> um, do you flirt with her, ask her to dance, Ooh. buy her a drink, or tell her off? Mm. Well, well, well. For me... Well, there's a technical term for this situation. <laughs> for, the, for the person that's taking this, the ugly friend. It's called a grenade man. Oh. 
Yeah. Okay. So you jump on the grenade. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it explodes on you so that your friends all survive. Yep. So if my friend was like really like into this mm -hmm. person and I knew it was maybe going to mm -hmm. go somewhere, I mean, I would definitely buy her a drink. Yep. Same. And... Try to not ask her to dance. <laughs> no. I'm not going to tell her off because then she's going to make her friend leave. Exactly. So, so then it's over. I'm not going to flirt with her. So, I mean, you know, I wish that one of the options on here was like, I, I'm going to go with D, try and distract her. <laughs> you want to play darts? For like five minutes, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not going to hang out all night. Uh, I'm not that good of a wing man. No. I'm not a grenade man, dude. Uh, I'm just, I'm not. I'm not taking one for the team. I'm not a U.S. Marine. I will leave a man behind. Some you know of the, I mean? some of the, um, I've been in some situations where you're talking about jumping on grenades. Wow. I won't it's, do it. It's just I'm a coward. <laughs> so you're just you're just a sorry buddy. Just <laughs> try harder next time. <laughs> you deal with this. But yeah, I would definitely buy her a drink and try to distract her and uh, get her out of the equation. Yeah. For sure. All right, your friend needs to use your car to continue enjoying his night. <sighs> what do you do? I give it to him. You give it to him? Yeah. I would give it to him, or I would, like, call an Uber. Yeah. And I would pay for it. Yeah. I'd be like, dude, just here. Yeah. I mean, with the way that, like, DWIs and stuff are now, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I would just... I mean, if it, if it wasn't, like, a drinking, you know what I mean? Yeah. If this wasn't, like, a drinking scenario... Take him to just, his destination? I would just give him... No, that's weird. Then who sits up front and who sits in back, you know what I mean? If there's three of you, you know what I mean? Do they sit in the back? You know what I mean? Does he sit in the front? Does she sit in the front? But then, you know what I mean? What if I crack a joke and then she's laughing, you know what I mean, at my joke, and then he's in the back like this. Whew. Looking in the stewing. mirror. Yeah, in the mirror. Stewing. Yeah, just stewing. Like, don't you be fucking funny, man. But now she likes you instead of me. Yeah, so I'd either give him uh, the car or call him an Uber, depending on the situation. I would definitely give him my car. No. The only thing I hesitate about giving him my car, though, is I'm not trying to have them bang in my car. True. You know? Stay, that's, um, get... That's like a guy code thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you don't bang in your friend's car. Like, go to your house. Right. Apartment. Take the car and take the girl to the house. Yes. Yeah. Or wherever you got to go, just right. not in yeah. the car. Hell, you can even take my car to my house. <laughs> I'd rather have a banger on my couch <laughs> than, right. than in my car. Not in the car! Right. <clears throat> yeah, so I would just give him the car yeah. as well. Take it. All right, so your friend says he's interested in a guy or girl, but he or she is interested in you. Ooh. You tell him what? So this one... Is just there's no multiple choice on this one. No, this one's just an open ended. It's just an open question. So basically, I just tell him the truth. Be like, hey, buddy, she likes me and not you. I'm sorry. Yeah, but what if you don't like her? Uh, but she likes you. Oh, and your friend likes her. Man, so she likes you. Oh god, you don't like her, but he likes her. So I would tell him to just take her. <laughs> Or right. to hit on her, yeah. call her, or yeah. or just do something. <laughs> I'd maybe, I'd maybe even try to act like a dick, well, purposely. Yeah. Yeah, but some sort of like get her off of me. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, I'm already kind of a dick though, so. Right, but don't like. Some chicks are like, oh, he's a dick. I like that, you know. And then you're just like, come on. Yeah. And then you gotta just be. Oh my God, I should have been an asshole my whole life. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, what would you do if both you and your friend like the same person? Has this ever happened to you? Yep. Yeah? Yep. I don't know if this... Maybe like back in high school, you know, you kind of... Yeah. You get in the Not whole, in a long time. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, let him proceed. Play rock, paper, scissors. Uh, tell him happy <laughs> hunger games. What the hell is that? <laughs> but the best watch. man win. <laughs> uh, pursue, pursue the person. I mean, I'd just say, hey, let's see who she likes. The best man win? Made the best man win. Yeah, so I'm hunger gaming it. Make a little competition. You know what I mean? Um, I would do, have, I'd pretty much do the same thing. Yeah. I'd be like, yo, game on. Yeah. You know? Let's see. Step your game let's up. Let's both go talk to her. And we'll just, <laughs> you know, whoever she, starts, whoever she starts leaning towards. Yeah. And then the other one just <clears throat> fades into the night. 
Sorry, buddy. Just slink away. I didn't mean it. Just slink away. And then you go on dates and he's there and at it's the like, bar by himself. <laughs> <laughs> that should have been me, dude. That should have ugly friend. Oh, God. <laughs> and then you tell the ugly friend to oh. come talk to him. Be like, hey, hey, come on over here. This video is going to get removed from YouTube. <laughs> let's, let's go on a double date. <clears throat> Oh, that's funny. But scenarios like that happen. They do. You know, you just got to realistically think. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't think ever strong survive, dog. Yeah. You gotta. You gotta play it. Yeah. Gotta play the game. <clears throat> All right. Your friend is too shy to make the first move. Ooh. What do you do? Do you make the first move for him? Buy him some liquid courage. Uh, <laughs> give him a pat on the back and push him towards the person. <laughs> Nothing. It's his loss. <laughs> Oh man, I would definitely. <laughs> I would just push him towards it. I would go make the move for him. <clears throat> yeah, I have no problem walking up to random people and just starting to talk to them. Yeah, and I would just—I'd literally just go up and be like, "Hey, you know, my name's Oliver. Yeah, sorry to bug you, um, but my friend likes you. Yeah, but it's Simple. a little shy." <clears throat> I, I would just, I would just literally tell him like the exact, or the exact scenario. Like, this is what it is. Do you want to talk to him? Yeah. And um, if she says no, then I'd go back and be like, well. I tried. I tried yeah. for you. I tried, dog. Um, I would, so when I go out a lot, I talk to, just like you. I just like to talk. To yeah. Talk to anybody. So I normally like do that. I'll, you know, hey, blah, 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 this and that. But. For me, I always am like, why do, why me? Why do you want me to go over there and talk to him? Why don't you go over there and talk to him? Yeah. <clears throat> people just aren't like that, though. You know what I mean? They just they get can't. shy yeah. and scared, which scared. I get. But you know, you just got to get that first, uh, the first denial out of the way, mm -hmm. I guess, and then it's just free sale from there on out because you don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> and then it sucks when you know. You do get the chick for that dude, right? And then... And then you end up sitting by yourself the whole rest of the sitting night? Sitting by yourself, and then... Or she... You accidentally have to hang out with the <laughs> ugly friend. Or the other... You know what I mean? So it's like... Damn, I just put in all that work to, for, for what? <laughs> so there's a lot of scenarios that go along with it. That's why I'm going to just push whoever... To do it themselves. Yep. So if I'm putting in the work, you know, you want the reward. Well, I better get some. Yeah. Out of it. What the fuck? Same philanthropy <laughs> over here. Ah, <laughs> uh, if a girl or a guy ask uh, ask you about your friend, what would you say? I'd say he's a dick. I would just be it's like, like, Oh, who's your friend? Yeah. Ooh, that one in the yellow. Oh, that's Matt. He's a dick. <laughs> oh, darn. I really wanted to go talk to him. Like, well, you could talk to me. <laughs> it's hungry. No, I, I, would, I, would, I, would, I, would, I would talk you up. You know what I mean? I would, too. Like, or say, yeah, say that he's an amazing person. <clears throat> yeah, I would just, um, you know, when you're out, just be like, hey, you know, you, you got to hype the, you gotta hype your guy up. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, you know. I'd be like, oh, he wears risers in his shoes. If it, <laughs> he's not that tall. Right. He's really 5'6". He's not 5'8". <laughs> <laughs> His license says five nine. Right, but you have to hype the person up, and then when you know when it time comes and she's ready to talk, and you're a dud, she's just gonna be like, uh, she's gonna know right away. Yep. Yeah. You know what I? You know what I'd say? <laughs> I'd be like, Yo, he's fast when he runs. <laughs> it's like lightning. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> One of the funniest things that you do on this show is when you're talking about running. And then uh, when <clears throat> dying? My God, <laughs> boy, she got you already, huh? That was tough. <laughs> um, so when she comes over to talk, <laughs> and I can't think of anything to say, that's when I start running. Yep. Fool my mouth. <laughs> I can't take it. I can't take too much. much. Gotta go. All right. Uh, what is the cardinal rule of wingmen that you will never disobey? Oh. Never, never hit on your friend's girl. Yeah. Always take one for the team. Ooh, never. <laughs> <laughs> never let my friend get too drunk. 
I can't even pretend that I. I mean, that just how many people have I been drunk for 15 straight years? Right. Don't overstep. Keep the attention on my friend. I mean, you never, never hit on your on your friends on your friends girl. That's, That's just the number one rule, wingman or a sky code in general. That's right? Sky code. Yeah. You know what I mean? Fuck wingman. That's that's guy code. Yeah. Like you just that's just a you just step. You just don't. You stay talk away. to her all you want. You know what I mean? <clears throat> as soon as the flirting or as soon as the making a move yeah. comes on, that's the thing I hate. So like, I'm not a jealous person. Talk to whoever you know. My girlfriend can you know talk to any guy. I don't mm-hmm. give a shit who. They could be laughing. They could be cheering. They could be doing whatever. Fine with that. Yeah. But you know. It, it, you get a little touchy, right? Hugging, touching, feeling like you know, and like, yep. like when there's too much of this going on, way too much of that. Then you, like, like I got like a like a spidey sense for that shit. I'll be like, you can tell, right away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're like, yeah. And even you know, drunk or sober, I don't mm-hmm. care. There's no excuse. For I, do, it. I usually in those scenarios, I'll just go over and like quietly assert my dominance. Of course, you know what I mean. You just, just slip slide right, right on in. Yeah. You know what I mean. And then you're just like, you do all that shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But get a quick kiss, talk for a minute, and then just kind of give them like. And you can tell it's so funny too because I like, guess you walk away. You know what I mean. The you vibe give them is that. the vibe is dead. Oh yeah. <laughs> You walk back and you just like this, and they're not doing this shit no more. No, nope. the dude's just like so, uh, uh, or girl, you know whatever. Right. Yep. <laughs> it's just completely done. Yep. You're like, Dead and that's all it took. Yeah, and you stand there and you're like, goddamn, <laughs> fuck out of here, bitch. Carry on with my night. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that is the, um, the like, or especially like in that scenario too. A lot, it's um, like if you get the look like from your girl that like oh, I don't want to be talking to this person oh yeah, yeah like yeah. help you know what i mean that, same action yep you know what i mean it's always a great move yeah and you can you know how like you could see you know your other from halfway mm-hmm. you know you are there you're in an uncomfortable situation and you know no matter what it is you just it's that dude i'm such a dick because i, I love <laughs> leaving people in those situations in those uncomfortable situations mm-hmm. like when they're talking to someone and they, they like give you that hint and mm-hmm. i'm so like i'll go over like i'm about to help yeah. and i'll be like Oh, sorry. I just need this. Sorry. Yeah. And then I'll just walk away. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like shit. I was going to go help. And then you go. And then I'll just dip. <laughs> and then I'll just dip. I'll just walk over and I'll grab like something that's like near them. Like, yeah. But I just, you know. Oh, man. That would be so funny. So like. So I'll walk over to Jack and be like, hey, babe. Sorry to bug you guys. I just needed this real quick. Yeah. And then I'll just walk away. And she like, just, she'll, she'll think I'm going over there to help and I'm just yeah. not. And she's just like this. Yep. <laughs> Watching me leave. <laughs> and as soon as you make eye contact again, she's just like. Yeah, and then I'll do one of these. <laughs> and with the wink. Holy shit! <laughs> that is the best I did the wink. Wow. Just hit him with it real quick. Oh my god. You know, maybe like a head lift in it too. Oh, that's like, funny. Gotcha. Shit, man. <laughs> I got to I got That's the move. <laughs> that is the move. I love that. Man. But Ooh. also I would love to do what you do and put someone like keep them in that uncomfortable. Oh yeah, situation. dude. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's hilarious, bro. I do I used to do it. I used to do it. I used to do it at Quimby's all the time, like to regulars when we would have like an irritating person that oh, know, right, like, right. would never shut up or whatever and one of you know one of our like good regulars you know gave gave me like the yeah. please please come down here and help me <laughs> okay. and I, I would i would walk down and and, and I, I i used to do it to vic a lot sorry vic if you watch these but i used to do it to vic a lot i'd walk down she'd give me that like <clears throat> help I'm like save me help and i'd walk down there and i'd be like you guys okay <laughs> and then i'd just walk away <laughs> Wait, you were supposed to... Son of a bitch. And I'd walk away and I'd stand on the other end of the bar and I'd look at Vic and she'd be like... I have to... Dude, I have to somehow incorporate this wink by the end of the year. Oh, yeah. Well, see, now that you think about it, now, now that you'll be thinking about like the good scenarios, yeah. you'll find a ton of situations where it's 
perfectly applied. Gotta be, and it's mm -hmm. I gotta. It's just I never think about it, and I never thought about it until I read that question for the show. And now that you said that, dude, it's it's gonna happen. Yep. Oh. Uh, uh, which movie star or television character would you want to play your wingman? There's so many. I mean, Who would I want to be my wingman? <clears throat> I mean, for me, I would just go Leonardo DiCaprio. Because <laughs> he's just gonna Jesus. he's just gonna get all the chicks anyway. So it Jesus matter. Christ! But you think that he's gonna wingman for you, and he's gonna <laughs> actually get you a chick that wants you over him? Never. I'm That's thinking, the worst wingman. I'm thinking pretty highly of us. You, right yeah. <laughs> I mean, golly. No, you gotta get somebody. You gotta get Someone somebody. Reasonable. Yeah. Maybe like uh, <clears throat> somebody like funny. Yeah. You know. I would but not go, too funny. I would go humor. Yeah, because it's tough though, because you don't want somebody like too famous. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Because it's like. You want a reg you want one of your buddies or a regular hmm. not a regular person. But I mean if you were to pick um, a movie character, I guess. It's too hard to to say. Yeah. Cause there's so many, you know you're you're right. I didn't even think about that. You'd bring a celebrity, you're screwed. Right, you're screwed. <laughs> you're just gonna be the guy standing behind the famous guy. Hey Matt, is that <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, it is. Yeah. Like, oh, Leonardo DiCaprio was at J.B. Quimby's this week. <laughs> was he with me? Pictured with friend. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Pictured below with friend. Uh, is that mad? You know, and then you're just like, right, trying to get in the picture. Right. And if you and Leonardo DiCaprio went out for drinks, do you think you'd be interested in any chicks or <clears> just <throat> the fact that you're hanging out with Leonardo DiCaprio? It's a good question. Right. Um, so basically, you just want to go out and have drinks with Leo. <laughs> what you're saying? You just want to chill with Leo, don't you? You so, probably added this question in here just so you could answer that. That's what happened. <laughs> so that was the departed. I'm surprised. I'm surprised there wasn't four choices. You know what I mean? And Leo was yeah. one of them. You go, oh, well, I think Leo. Well, you know. You know uh, oh, yeah. So I, got, I don't know. I guess I really can't answer that question because I just don't. I just don't know. Yeah. Maybe like Will Ferrell. Oh, he is funny. Yeah, Will Ferrell's a good one. You know, because he's get, you know he's not a good-looking person. <laughs> right. You know, he's funny. And you know what's amazing? Mm -hmm. The older I we get, you know, looks. Of course, you want to be attracted to whoever you're attracted to. But don't you find that like humor and personality makes oh like, yeah the girl like prettier oh, or the guy prettier? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. For it's sure. so funny how that For works. Sure. Well, like, it's just likability. You know what I mean? Like, it's... Uh, it's and, it, like, especially as you get older, too. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. you start appreciating that stuff more. More than looks. Right. <clears throat> no. 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 But Not I'm just... Than. I'm saying... <laughs> sometimes it, it, it's, sometimes it's, it starts to get more balanced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because sometimes it's looks and nothing. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, people that are out there that are like, looks don't matter, they're just lying. They do matter. They do matter. Yeah. But it's not what everybody else thinks look good. Because you th might think somebody looks beautiful to you. Yeah. Might not be beautiful to me. But as long as they're beautiful to you. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. It yeah. doesn't, you know what I mean? Like, you, that person, I don't <laughs> care if the person I'm dating is anybody else in the world thinks that they're beautiful. Right. I think she's beautiful. So yeah. that's all that matters to me. And it sucks too. Well, it doesn't suck, but. You know, when you're dating someone that's pretty hot, mm -hmm. I mean, you know when you go out, it's just, everyone's looking, they're just like, which to me is a compliment because it's like, yeah, yeah, my girlfriend's fucking yeah. hot, you know what I mean? Yep. <clears throat> but yeah, it's funny. God damn. But also, you know, keep looking. Yeah. You know what I mean? Keep, look somewhere else now. You saw, <laughs> be done. Now keep staring. I'm gonna come over there and hit you with the wink, dog. <laughs> That dude's gonna be like, that dude just winked at me. <laughs> It'll make you think twice too. <laughs> it's a warning sign. All right. <laughs> oh man, the wink. Oh, uh, uh, where the hell are we? Um, here we go. Your friend has uh, some food stuck in their teeth. <clears throat> what do you do? Tell, uh, take it out for them. No. What? That's who does that? Freaky. 
I wouldn't even let Jackie take food out of my teeth. <laughs> You know, tell them to go to the bathroom. Mm. I'm not sure. <laughs> nothing. They'll figure it out eventually. You know, I love the guy that kept writing these. The, the last, nothing, the yeah. last ones on all these. Um, I'm for sure. You know, I'm just gonna be like, dude. Yep. Just give him a sign. Yeah. <clears throat> Cause like, there's that happened to me once. You gotta look at him going like this. Right. <laughs> That's, That's a good move. That's the, you know what I mean? Just a quick little. You know, draw too much attention to it. So that happened to me. I was, um, I was at a bar, just hitting on this chick. You know, I thought things were going great. I was like, oh, I got to piss, right? And there was people around me. People were talking to me, looking at me for like 10, 15 minutes. I'm like, okay, blah, blah, blah. I go to the bathroom. There's a fucking booger, like, <laughs> hanging out of my nose. And I'm just like... And nobody did one of these? Nothing. No one even... I. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I walked back out there and I was I wasn't pissed. But now I was like Now you're the booger guy. Well because now they all know they're like, oh, like, oh he it's got done. it. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just like so I just brought it up. I was like, how come no one told me I had a goddamn booger in my nose? <laughs> and they're like, Well, you, you I mean I didn't see it. I you didn't oh, see it. Right. She was plain as day sticking out of my nose saying hello to everybody. <laughs> Bullshit, you didn't oh, see it. Oh my god, that was the worst. So I always tell someone, you know, if there's something going on with their anything, mm -hmm. their face, teeth. God, that's annoying. Oh, all right, so do you do you and your friends have a secret code for when you need help? I feel like we inadvertently we already, already went over this one. Yeah, yeah it's the look. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And like, I guess the only other... The only other thing is, like, if I was on a date, the old fake phone call, yeah. I feel like that's the most common, but it, yeah. it works. Yeah. You know, you're just like, oh, hey, oh, what? Oh, my God. No way. Oh, all right. Oh, you got to yeah. hype it up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Like, I got to go. My buddy's carrier pigeon just flew away. Yeah. What? Oh, my God. Yeah. You got to hit him with something, like, so shocking that they don't have time to, like, respond. And they'll always remember you. Yeah. Because you're never, gonna see, guy. you're never going to see them again. Yep. And then when she does run into you at some grocery store, she's going to be like, that's the fucking pigeon, dude. It's a pigeon guy. God damn it. So she'll never rem um, she'll never forget you. Yep. But yeah, and even though you get that phone call, I feel that the person, the other person right away, they already know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when that phone rings, oh, they're yeah. like, oh, shit, date's over. Yeah. Regardless, guy or girl, yep. you know it's over because they're going to come back with some... Some, some pigeon, pigeon shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. <clears throat> <sighs> Unscripted. Oh, man. This is going to be the pigeon show now. <laughs> Next time on uh, the Waking Pigeon. <sighs> Shit. All right, how would you break the ice? Ooh. Order a round of shots, mm. play pool or darts, sing karaoke. That's not. That's never good. Mm -hmm. Tell embarrassing stories. I would say all of the above, except for karaoke. Yep, I agree. Depending on the situation. Basically, what I would do is I would order some shots, play, play some pool, and tell some embarrassing <laughs> stories. <laughs> And then I would say, fuck singing karaoke. <laughs> so all those questions. Because <laughs> that's literally the order. Literally, oh. Right when you started to say it, I was saying it in my brain. Like, oh, I would do this in this exact same order. Order some shots, go play some pool, tell some embarrassing stories. Just like that. Done. Oh. So breaking the ice is very easy to do. <laughs> Oh, it's awesome. And if any... Have you ever did karaoke? Or oh, yeah. Did? I love karaoke. Do you really? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. So we went to that karaoke bar in Henrietta. Mm -hmm. Have you been there? Yeah, it's a shithole. It is there. a shithole, but... My intent was to go there and do it. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was like, I got this. I was a little buzzed. I was like, yeah. I can do it. I, can oh, I gotta be buzzed to go do it. I couldn't do it. No? I couldn't get up there and do it. <laughs> Maybe now I could. Dude, I'll do one with you. Oh. We'll pick a song. 
Uh, oh man. <laughs> and record it. Oh. Definitely record it. All and right. Put it on this show. I mean, yeah, we'll have to. Yeah. Um, and then maybe we'll watch it on the show and we'll. we'll uh, <laughs> is that place still open? Critique ourselves. I think so. It's got they it. do it down at the Angry Goat all the time, too. Angry Goat on, karaoke? On Clinton and Goodman? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah. I've had. I've, I thought I was ready. Thought I was ready. I couldn't do it. Dude, I did. Um, what song? <laughs> so, you know my buddy Jordan that I grew up with? Yep. Tall. Yep. So, Jackie, Jordan, and I did um, Waterfalls at TLC. Oh, shit. And um, 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 Shoop. Shoop, baby. Wow. Um, at the Angry Goat one night. Like, back to back, we did those songs. Dude, everybody lost their shit. Those it was are some heavy hitters. Hilarious, dude. Damn. It was hilarious. Yeah, so I'll have to try to work the... The courage up to do it. I mean, do some shots. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. So, uh, what nights are those on? Do you I don't know. Out? I'll find out though. I'll find out. Because <clears throat> if it's a week night, I'll just take the next day off. Oh yeah, definitely yeah, gotta take the next day. Because we'll off. make a yeah a night out of it. I oh guess. yeah. 100%. Oh karaoke. Here we go. Holy shit. It's gonna be great. We're definitely bringing the camera. Yeah, yeah, I gotta bring. I gotta think of what song I might know. From well, you back. Pick, yeah, you pick the song that you know. And even if I don't I know, mean, they got words. On it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, it's easy. Good to go. Fuck yeah. Oh, wow. All like right. It. What do we got? Uh, which pickup lines does your friend like to use? Um, I don't know. There's so many. I hate pickup lines. I go for the cheesiest, corniest, just most outlandish pickup line you could think of. Some of these are good. I like this one. Uh, do you work at Starbucks? Mm. Because I like you a lot. <laughs> so that's one of them. I'm not a photographer, but I can picture me and you together. Oh. That's so dumb. Um, is your daddy a baker? Because you've got some nice buns. That'll immediately get you hit. <laughs> You'll immediately get slapped for that one. Nope. Um, do you have a map? I'm getting lost in your eyes. Jesus we did a show on cheesy pickup lines. We did. There is just so many. Yeah. Um, what do we do? It was pickup lines and dad jokes, right? Yeah. Some good, some bad. Yeah. But um, all in all, I feel, you know, I men don't normally get hit on. Right. And when we do, it's they're not using they're not using anything good. No. So, that's why when, I, you know, if I'm out and I'm going to hit on a chick, I mm -hmm. try these stupid ass. I got, I got slipped a card once. It was, like, the only time that I've ever been, like, explicitly hit on. Yeah. <laughs> um, this bartender walked over and just handed me, like, slid me a card, like, across the bar and, like, I got a wink. No. Yeah. And yes. then she walked away. And I was like, <laughs> shocked. She's just like, what? I was like, what's happening to me right now? <laughs> and so I look at the card, and it's from the Chive. You know, the Chive. It's a app website. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it said something like, um, <clears throat> um, give this card to someone you think is extremely attractive. And then it had like a whole like little passage on it or something. Oh, you know what wow. I mean? Like a whole little thing. It was just like a like a, I think you're hot card. That is a good move. Yeah, dude. And like <clears throat> I read it and you know, like there was a lot on there, so it was like little text <laughs> like I was reading it and like I looked back up and she like she was gone. Wow. And I was like, No. Did you no. ever see her again? I was like, Where did she go? Yeah, I ended up ended up seeing her again. Nice. That's pretty cool. That's I a good move. I still move. have that card somewhere. That's a good move. Yeah, that's a good move. And the wink is appropriate there. Dude, right? the wink was perfect there. You know what I mean? It was like right, right before she let go. She was like, "Yeah, ting," and then, "Oh man, I forgot all about that." I it's amazing. This. I wonder if I got that. I swear to God, I kept that. <laughs> I fucking kept that card, dude. Oh man. I but was... then it was like pass this card on to another. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's one of those like you know keep keep it passing going. along things. I gotta find that. I think I got that in my little damn little box of. That's like, awesome. Trinkets that I keep. <clears throat> All right, last one. When you're out and about, you know, things are going all right. 
Oh, wait. Is this the last one? No, two more. Oh, two more. Well, anyways, so you're out and about, you're with your group, you guys are all whatever. What kind of music gets your crew going? So, like, when do you play on the... Depends on the crew that I'm with. Really? Yeah. But it depends on my mood, too. Like, I, I, can, I can get hyped with country music. Yeah. I can get hyped with hip... I mean, more often than not, if I'm the one picking the music, mm -hmm. it's hip-hop and rap. True. You know? I like to go to that, but I just sometimes, out of the blue, you know, you just want to hear that, I don't know, just a old-school song... I can't think of one off it. Like, like Queen or something, you know what I mean? Okay, okay. Or like, you know. All right. Just, like ACDC, yeah, or Back in Black, bam, something, bam. bam. Yeah. I can get, yeah, it, it, it doesn't really matter to me. I can get hyped to almost anything. It just depends on, depends on the crew that I'm with. Yep. But then you can also, like, for me, obviously, I like Justin Timberlake. I could throw some of his shit in there, you know 100%. what I mean? And then I mean, people are still gonna get down to it. The guy's a triple threat. That's the guy you definitely do not want as your wingman. <laughs> oh hell no! <laughs> Jesus, I wouldn't. I'd be. I'd just be sitting there like this. Yeah. Even if he was like, "Hey Matt, you want to go hang out?" I'd be like, "No." I'd be like, "Dude." I'd be like, like, "Yes." I would. Yes, I do. But no, no. <laughs> right. Where are we going? First of all. It's like, can you try to look terrible? <laughs> you know what I mean? Can you look, can you just go like roll around in your bed to make it look like you just got up? Timberlake. He's the man. Like wear mismatched socks or something. Yeah. Help me out here. Not, I mean, that dude. But then it'd probably become a trend and everybody would be doing it. Yeah. And then I'd be walking around stabbing myself in the face yeah. because everybody's got mismatched socks on. Did Which you see that Timberlake did that? Right. You're doing it because of Justin Timberlake. No, no, like, no. I made no, no, him no, do I that. I started that. <laughs> I started that. I started the trend. Right. And then the guy never called me. <laughs> yeah, so. Screw you, JT. I could put anything on, really, but I like to go old school sometimes. A lot of the new stuff, I really don't. I mean, I kinda, I've heard, mm -hmm. but I can't, like, offhand be like, put in, you know, because I'd be like, you remember that one song? <laughs> or you know that one song that's out that goes kind of like, da -da 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 -da, and everyone's just like, like, no, I don't. Yeah, dude, what? Right. <clears throat> So, yeah. No. All right. Do you think it's okay to lie to the people that you pick up at bars? Of course not. Yes. No. No. Maybe. What? No. <laughs> Who ever always does that? <clears throat> I mean, does anyone blatantly just <laughs> hit them with the truth right up front? <laughs> Hi, my name is Matt. I'm 42 and 5'6". <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, you it's don't. like that one episode of uh, <laughs> Seinfeld where George, is, George just goes up to that chick and he's like, Hi, I'm George. I'm, un I'm bald, unemployed, and I live with my parents. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, Hi. Yeah, and it worked. Yeah, and it worked. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I feel like most people don't tell the truth right away. Uh, or maybe they do. I, I mean, don't I don't really ever lie when I'm talking to someone because it's <clears throat> or when you're trying to pick someone up yeah I mean I used to tell fabricated stories just because it was hilarious to mm -hmm. do and whatever I said they most likely didn't believe anyways but the older I got <clears throat> I had to sometimes tell the truth because of my age <laughs> so I had to put that out there first and foremost before anything got yeah, and, you know, nine times out of ten, that was pretty much it. Hi, yep. I'm Matt. I'm 43, and see you later. All right, <laughs> and she's gone. Sweet, and she's gone. <laughs> Back. <clears throat> All right. So this is the last one. Your friend gets stood up by a date. What do you do? Find him another one. Exactly. The very first answer on it. Find him another one. And that's it. There's no well, other. That's... There's plenty of fish in the sea, as they say. Yeah. So, and so in Rochester, um, or anywhere, anywhere really, there should be no issues. Yeah. Just go to a bar, go any, go to Wegmans. Go anywhere, go anywhere. Produce aisle, Wegmans. Yeah. Festival, Hawkins anything. Road. But ultimately, you have to have the balls to just go do it. Yeah. Just go say hi. Yeah. Start with hi. That's it. But ultimately, I think you and I would be great wingmen for whoever. Um, don't ask us to because <clears throat> we're out of the game. Yeah, we're out of the game. But it would be fun. 
to um, best night ever. Have a drink. Oh God. Well, I'll go have a drink. <laughs> was that a See? wingman situation? No, that wasn't me sticking you with it. <laughs> but however, except at the end. <clears throat> except at the end. When I was like, oh, we're parked over here. Mm. And then... Mm. So I got you out of it. But I stuck you with it the whole night, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I let you stick with it the whole night. Yeah. Yeah. But ultimately, the end result was a good wingman. Yeah. yeah. Just like, yep, yeah, no, this way. Yep. Yeah. We're out. So yes, that is our one drink for uh, a wingman. Everyone's done it. Yep. Um, if you have any funny stories, let us know. We would love to hear them. For sure. For sure, let us know if you've got any funny scenarios. And, uh, I mean, women too. Yeah. We would love to hear your crazy wing woman stories. For sure. Because those got to be a little more entertaining. Maybe. Or maybe they're just all I the same. I feel like their success rate is higher <laughs> than ours. For sure. Like much higher. <clears throat> yeah. You know a, I mean? a woman could just be like, hey, I like you. And the guy's like, oh! That's right. It. Sweet. Yeah. Yep. Done deal. Sweet. And for us, it's like, get away, creep. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> right. We got to go through all these. We got to go through all these hula hoops right. to get. To get. <laughs> I'm just trying to say hi. <laughs> but anyways, guys, don't forget, you can check us out. Check out our videos both on Facebook and YouTube at One Drink Podcast. You can also listen to us on all major platforms. Don't yes. forget to hit the like, sub, and ring that bell. Be the first ones notified when our new episodes hit. And all we ask is if you share with one person. Just one. That's it. But anyways, guys, until next time. See ya. Cheers. Pigeon shit. Pigeon shit. <laughs> Dude, saying it at the same time, man, that was great. <laughs>